There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't pop up. If a pop-up toaster doesn't pop up, then it's no longer any use. Hey, I don't pop up as well as I used to. What are you going to do? Throw me on the scrap heap? Oh. Hiya. How's baby Harry doing? Oh, he is. He's fine. Are you sleeping any better? I said he's fine. Um, I think we we better get in. Right. Bye. Bye. What was that? What was what? Well, she just totally froze you out. Yeah, it's a long story. Good. I'm sitting comfortably. Well, leave that. She knew she was being bullied at school, that she'd failed her exams, and she was taking diet pills. And you still didn't tell Zara? I was trying to help. Do you know anything about Jet that you're not telling me? Okay, I handled it badly. What can I say? I messed up. It's time to move on. Ooh. Hang on, move on. You, you obviously fancy Zara. I think you're done. You like her? Okay, yeah, I do. It's not going to work now, is it? She like you? Clearly not. But you went for a drink. No, you know what? This is this is just too weird talking about this sort of stuff with you. I thought we were mates. We are mates. Unless she's still got romantic feelings for me. No. It, sorry, was that a bit quick? A bit. But we're more than mates, aren't we? We're parents, and that's going to last forever. We don't mean either of us are never going to meet someone. Have you met someone else? It's none of your business. You obviously have. I haven't. So what, are you just giving up? Sometimes it's the right thing to do. Nice lion. Yeah, thanks. Breakfast? No, not hungry. Where are you going? Out. Out. Again. Doing your disappearing act. Why won't you tell me where you're going, David? I'm worried about you. Yeah, no, I'm worried about me too. Talk to me. <sighs> Sorry, it's hard. Of course it's hard. But I have found something that helps. Found what? Well, it's a bit mad, but I go to the cemetery and um, I take her some flowers. You know, she liked flowers and it it's quiet there. I can think and talk. Talk? Yeah, to Kylie. Not out loud, you know, to myself. And it helps. I mean, she shouldn't answer back or anything. I'm not imagining stuff, but uh, I don't know. It's like we're still connected. You'll always be connected. Yeah, I know. Anyway, can I go? Yeah. Yeah. Um, say hello from me. Can I borrow your car? What for? I want to go visit a sick friend in hospital. Really? No, there's the sports shop at the retail park. They've got some trainers on offer. I wanted to get Max some. What? Oh, I'm fine. Put some petrol in it. I don't know where. Look, I know you've got a lot on your plate, but I really don't think I can wait five months. Okay. okay look, Steve's got to take the test. Yeah, well, you heard what he said. I don't care what he said. Well, maybe I should try Michelle. If we can't persuade him to do the test, maybe she can.
I'm her mum, he should have talked to me about it. He was trying to stop her taking them pills. Yes, and the thing he should have done was tell me. He knows he's in the wrong. Good. Look, I don't mean this to be funny, but what's this got to do with you? I'm trying to do you a favour. He's a decent bloke. All right, he's got his faults. But he's a good, caring, generous man. Ask his mum. There's not many around as good as Gary. And uh, how do you feel about him now? He's a mate. And he's Jake's dad. He has no idea I'm here talking to you. I just want to see him happy. <sighs> We've been for one drink. I don't know. My priority's Bethany now. Maybe if you talk to him. Yeah, I'll think about it. Touched a bollard while I was parking it. What? I just had it cleaned on Sunday. Right, well, I'll get it cleaned then. Is that it? You want me to wash yeah, your car? Or someone else's next time. Anyway, it's not about what's on the telly. It's just our time, you know, with all the kids. That's what it's about. Mm. Oh, whatever. You're both just jealous. Yeah, of course we are. Yeah. What about we all have a little poker school tonight at yours? Mm. What do you think? I don't think that'll be a good idea. Uh, no, it'll be a right laugh. Get Kevin Sophie around, make it a full house. I need a car. Well, we know cars, don't we, boys? Aye. What are you after, Dave? Don't care, it's as long as it goes. And stops. Stopping's important. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that sorted for you. All right. Cheers. Sorry, Sharif, it's when I get behind on paperwork. It's starting to feel like a habit. What? Me apologising. Look, I know how much you care about Bethany, obviously. I should have told you everything as soon as. I wish I had now. Okay. I'm sorry. That's when we can start again. Start what again? Um, well, me and you. Maybe I. I don't know if you fancy a drink sometime. Or... I think it's best if we just keep things as they are. I've got to put my family first. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. That's more to fix than it's worth. Yeah, but what? I mean, a day's work and it'll still be cheap. That's because it's one step up from a death trap. And I wouldn't go that far. It barely scraped through its last MLT. It's not going to get through another one. I won't need it for that one. I'm only taking Bethany on a few driving lessons up to one of those empty car parks. Right, I mean, if you want a purse to have a look over it and get it roadworthy, then... It won't get through next year's MOT, mate. And there's not much tread on them tyres. Yeah, well, I won't be going that far. You sure about this? Yeah. It's perfect. Oh, hey, up. Oh. Where's my tanker and my bendy bully? What? You look like Jim Bowen with that lot in your hand. Remember that bullseye? Oh, nice it's before my time, that. Ah, the still show repeat. Takes me right back. See, I'll back it into red. Nothing in this game. Right, is, the, the... Is, is the car ready? No, mate, it's not. What? Well, once I got working on it properly, it was much worse than we thought. I can get you something miles better than this for the money you're going to spend. No, no, I, I don't want anything better. I want this one. Yeah, well, it's going to cost you a fortune to put it through its next MLT. I'm not bothered about its next MLT, all right? We shook hands on this motor. This is the one I want. Right, OK. I mean, but I'm going to need a full day on it. I mean, if you took this out and had an accident with kids in it, I'd never forgive myself. Well, well tonight, then. <sighs> Got no tea bags left. I'll do an internet shop later. Since when did you do internet shopping? Not exactly a silver surfer, are you? I'm not a silver anything, thank you very much. I got a voucher from Freshco. Ten quid off my first online order. I thought you liked to look at what you were buying. I do, generally. But I'll live with green bananas for the sake of a tenner. <laughs> Hello? 
Oh, uh, no, uh, I'm afraid he's not, but uh, I'm his mother. Can I take a message? Well, what sort of problem? Is he all right? I'll come straight away. Well, so, uh, there's a school. Max has been in a fight. Oh, poor kid. He must be so churned up. Mm. I take it David's at the grave again. Oh, he's spending far too much time there. It's not healthy. Yeah, well, wherever he is, he's not picking up. Um, if he comes back, tell him what's happened. I'll go pick Max up. Hello, guys. Come on, sit down. Put the telly on if you want. Oh, I know you've had a really bad day, mate. You've had a lot to deal with. More than anyone your age should. You've been so brave. No, I haven't. You've been amazing. And David is so, so proud of you. No, he's not. I hardly see him anymore. He doesn't like me, because I let him down all the time. He loves you so much. And you have not let him down. Far from it. You won't tell him, will you? He'll understand. No, he won't. He'll be angry. He needs his dad. Keep an eye on him. I'll go find David. How's it going? You all right? So you took talking to Tyrone early. Didn't look very happy. Yeah, well, I bought a car from him. I thought I'd be ready this morning, but it wasn't. So he's trashing mine, I suppose. You won't find many Bond girls draped over it, but suits me. There you are. Last time I checked. I've just been to the grave. Don't reckon much of the flowers you laid. Look like they've been there three weeks. Well, yeah, that's devs for you. You haven't been to that grave. Well, yeah, someone must have swiped him. David, where have you been? Walking. Oh, walking? Yeah. Look, believe it or not, I've got a lot on my mind. Don't you feel like sometimes you just want to be on your own for a bit of peace and quiet? You waived the right to peace the day you had kids. I had to go into school at dinner time to pick up Max. What? Is he all right? He is now. Sarah took him to the park. I was breaking his heart earlier. What's happened? It's not what's happened. It's what's happening. He's already lost his mum and now he feels he's losing you. Come on, that's rubbish. Is it? You're not around most of the time and when you are, you're not really there. Yeah, all right, Mum. No! Someone's got to tell him. We've tiptoed around this long enough and I am not going to stand by and watch this family fall to pieces. Max and Lily need you, David. They need all of you. All of the time. And the sooner you wake up to that, the better. Uh, no tea bags? Coffee? Yeah, whatever. I promised Kai I'd look after him. But the truth is, I can't. I'm not up to it. Yes, you are. Macrocider. I think you've coped brilliantly. Better than I expected. Well, you can't set the bar very high. I don't think you'd survive. But you have, haven't you? I'd have loved for your kids. I'd have loved for Kylie and what she would have wanted. I think Maka was a wake-up call, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, look what's happening with Max. I mean, it's like you, when your dad died. You had a nightmare, didn't you? And Mum's ten times the parent I'm ever going to be. I didn't turn out so bad, did I? I have loads of help. I'll do whatever I can, yeah. Whatever that means. You know, I know how Max feels. I'll be able to help him through it. You might think differently when you've got a kid of your own to look after. <laughs> nah, we're going to have to support each other, aren't we? I'll be coming to you for advice. Yeah, I don't think you'll need to. I think you make a great dad when time comes. We'll see when.
Hi, kids. If you're watching this, then you'll know what's happened, and I think you deserve to know why. I'm not sorry for what I've done to the lad that killed your mum. He didn't deserve to live. But I am sorry for what that means for you. I love you both so much, and I don't want you to grow up hating me. I'm not asking you to agree with what I've done, or even forgive me, but I just want you to understand that the last thing I ever wanted to do was hurt you. Being your dad has been amazing, joyful, but I can't be the dad you need. You need the man that I used to be, but he's gone. Your mum was, She was my heart. The only bit of me worth bothering with, what's left, it's not what you deserve. You'll always remember your mum, but you need to make a life for your own. And to do that, you need to get past all this pain and sadness. And you won't do that with me because I can't. It's always there. Whatever I try and do, I can't outrun it. And it hurts. It hurts more than I ever thought it would do. And I can't live in a world where that animal who took your mum can go on living, laughing and making plans for when he gets out. No. <laughs> But I made a promise to your mum that you'll be taken care of, and you will be, because Uncle Nick can give you all the things I can't. <sighs> and your gran, yeah, she might say daft things, but she loves you so much, <laughs> almost as much as me. So I'll let them guide you. You grow up, go out into the world, and make me and your mum proud. <sighs> okay. Take care, kids. I love you so much. <laughs> Come here, chicken. You all right? Yeah. All right? Yeah, fine. How are you, mate? Come here. Listen, you're gonna be all right, okay? They told you. Yeah, they told me. But listen, you've got absolutely nothing to be worried about, okay? Not with everything that's been going on. I'm sorry. No, you don't have to say sorry for anything. All right, I should be the one who's apologizing. Why don't you both go and get a biscuit, okay? No. Been all right? Yes, yeah, he enjoyed going to the park with Sarah. What were you doing on that? Oh, I was messing about on the internet. Nothing to do with Clayton, I hope. No. No, I'm done with all that. There's no point to it. Ready for your tea? No, I'm all right, actually. And uh, so are the kids. I'm going to nip across to Tyrone's and pick up my new motor. Thought I'd take that for a spin and then go get them a burger on the way back. You bought a car? Yeah. It's nothing flash, but it'll do the job. Well, they'll be thrilled. And it's, uh, it's good to see you looking forward. Got you on. Ah, mm. cheers, buddy. What do you think? It's ace. Good. Listen, I'm sorry I haven't been around as much lately. It's all right. No, it's not. I should have spent more time with you. But I'm going to put that right while I still can. All right? Because I love you. Both of you. It's important that you know that. I do. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. Because honestly, that means more to me than just about anything. You're the best kids I could ever wish to have. And I love you very much. I'm very proud of you. 
I'm sorry about today. Mate, no. What I meant when I said I wanted you to grow up, I, I just want you to look after your sister if ever I'm not there, all right? I want you to take care of her. You going away? No. No, look, I'm not going anywhere. But nobody knows what the future holds, do they? Listen, wherever you go, wherever you are, I will always be there, all right? Just like what your mum is. Do you understand? Not really. Oh, you don't have to, mate. What's important is that you know things are going to be all right from now on, all right? Things are only going to get better for you two. Starting now. Now? Yeah, you said you like riding in the car, don't you? How do you fancy driving it? Really? Can I? Yeah. What do you reckon, Lil? Should we have a bit of fun? Yeah! Hi kids, if you're watching this then you'll know what's happened and I think you deserve to know why. And we're coming to the right hand there. Oh, what's this? Hamilton's made a mistake, he's gone wide. There's a gap for Max, can he make it? Yes, yes, he's got it! This boy from Weatherfield is on the brink of becoming the Formula One world champion. Oh, and he sees the chequered flag. Can he make it? He's almost there. He's got it! Yes, he's got it! Unbelievable scenes here at Silverstone. Max is the champion. It's a day he'll remember for the rest of his life. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> me too, mate. Me too. Can we go around again? <sighs> what do you think, Lil? Shall we? Yeah. Right. Well, lights out. Let's go. David, pick up a car from you tonight. Yeah, look, I did my best with it and I told him. Did he say where he was going? No, he just drove off with Max and Lily, Victoria Street. How did he look? He was good, yeah, joking with the kids. A lot better than he were this morning. This morning? Yeah, I was trying to persuade him not to have the car. Well, why would you do that? Because it doesn't make any sense. It's going to cost a fortune to put it through its next MLT. A lot more than it's going to be worth. And he still took it. Oh, I yeah, he went all Little Britain on me. No, I want that one, I want that one. Nothing I could say was going to change Did he mind. say anything else? Anything unusual? Um, I think it's important. Uh, well, just when I said it won't get through the next MLT, he said he didn't care about the next MLT. What are you doing? You're burgling your own house. You pair took your time. All right, we're here now. What's the panic? Panic? Panic doesn't even begin to cover it. Have either of you seen David? I saw him earlier. We came back here for a coffee. How did you see him? Ah, uh, well, a bit obsessed about Max, but, um, yeah, fine, you know, we had a nice chat. Well, I don't know what you said to him in the course of your nice chat, but he is planning on making the biggest mistake of his life. Mum, well, calm down, you hysteric. Have a right to be. He's planning on killing Clayton and himself. What? He must have been planning it for days. I mean, that's why he bought the car. What car? A death trap that won't even make its next MOT, but he's not bothered about it. He's not bothered about that because he's not planning on being it. He'll be dead. All right, all right. I saw him earlier. He was talking about the kids, you know, the future. Yeah, he tried that routine with me as well, but you know David. Lying comes as easy as breathing. All right, where have you got this from? Horse's mouth. So David's told you that he's going to kill Clayton. Hold on, look, if you were serious about killing... No, 
He wasn't planning on us finding out till afterwards. What's this? Just, just watch it. Hi, kids. If you're watching this, then you'll... So he'll pardon me for being hysterical. It's unbelievable. Surely he wouldn't actually go through with yeah. it. Though. Yes, he would. You almost did a few days ago. What are you talking about? Clayton's on remand. It wasn't Clayton he was after. He was his brother. He threw the brick through his window. He went to the hospital. He tried to smother him. Why would he do that? He was the next best thing to Clayton himself. And he could get to him. That's what he told me. So what stopped him? The nurse came in. Why the hell didn't you tell me this? Well, I thought he'd come to his senses. Come to his senses? No, he just decided the brother wasn't enough. It was Clayton or nothing. He must be planning something for the trial. As soon as he shot, he'll get it. Right, we just need to be really glad that we've seen this. And we can sit him down. What, and have a nice chat? Sarah, it doesn't matter that we know. You've seen the video. He can't be reasoned with anymore. It's gone way beyond that. OK, so will we phone the police or we have him sectioned? I mean, there's right. people that can help. The first thing they're going to ask is, well, what's your basis for thinking he's going to commit another crime? We have proof he's mentally ill. What do we say then? Exactly. We can't sit them down with a bucket of popcorn and show them that little production, can we? We'll tell them that he tried to kill Macca. He'll end up doing more time than Clayton himself. So what do we do then? I don't know. But we've got to come up with something fast. Hello. You all right? Uh, yeah, you just took your time. That's all. I was uh, getting a bit worried. Well, I told you we were stopping for a burger. Is it nice? Yeah. Dad let me drive. What? Well, it, it wasn't like the M62 or anything. It was just an empty car park. Well, even so, he's a bit reckless. I mean, you're all these kids have got now. It's your responsibility to look after him and keep him safe. Well, yeah, he was perfectly safe. Right, come on, upstairs, brush your teeth, put your PJs on. Can we do it again? Yeah. Yeah, if we get a chance. Thanks. It was epic. Oh, you won't believe he was the same kid that came home from school. He'll be all right. They both will. Yeah, you just need to put in the time with them. That's all. I mean, they light up when you're around. Especially Max. Yeah, well, I mean, he drove a car and ate a burger. I mean, when you're his age, what's not to like? Hey. Looking for a table, there's plenty to choose from. How's David? As you'd expect. Calm on the outside. The opposite of us, then. Yeah, but for all his bravado, I don't think he's a lost cause yet. I mean, when he's with the kids, you can, you can see he's struggling. Think we should talk to him? What, and risk spooking him? Having him disappear again? No, we can't take the chance. I mean, if we're going to challenge him, we need to be in control. So what do you suggest? Well, I've got an idea. You might think it's a bit extreme, but I've racked my brains for an alternative and there just isn't one. It's a last resort. But I need you to help me pull it off. OK, I'll bring the electrician. Why well, don't I just get Pat to have a look at it? It'd be quicker, wouldn't it? Uh, it's fine. Look, it's the bloke who did the original electrics. Relax. Relax? We can't afford to close, Nick. OK, look, why don't you just go and get some breakfast? It'll be fine. I'll sort it. Sarah. Oh, do you know what, love? It was never going to work out with you and Sarah, Platt. <laughs> oh, right, can you not fry bacon when I've just washed my hair? I'll have dogs following me to school. Oh, excuse me, Princess Bethany. Perhaps you'd like to give me a list of the foods we are allowed to eat whilst in your presence. <laughs> I'll put a post-it note on my fridge. 
Oh, milk. Finally, we were all getting parched. You're going to be late for work. Oh, yeah, Nick said uh, not to come in. Uh, so much about the Alex at the bistro, so I've got the morning off. Hmm? You all right, David? Yeah, I would be if Madame here would eat a breakfast. Do you want me to see to her? No, you're all right. Could do with you looking after him tomorrow, though. So you are definitely going to go to the trial, then? Yeah, won't miss it for the world. I'll take Max to school for you if you want. All right, cheers, thanks. It's dead good of you, that. I'll go and get us a paper, shall I? Make the most of your morning off. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Come on, then, shrimp, and don't slow me down. Eat my dust. All right, since when don't I get a kiss goodbye? Oh, great, I've got your spit all over me now, thanks. Bye. Right, come on, you. Let's go get the rest upstairs. You know what we've got to do? We haven't got much time. Mum, I can't, I just can't. Sarah, we are doing this. We have to stop him. Right, I've managed to get everything. Has she got you shopping as well? I've been giving her a list as long as my arm. I told Michael about our plan for David tonight. Little family dinner before court tomorrow. I think it's a wonderful idea. Shows him that we're behind him. Yeah. Right, well, I better get going if we're feeding the 5,000. I'll get the bedclothes. Gail? Just running a few errands. I thought you said Bistro for sure. Uh, number two, please. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we could spend some time with the family, actually. Hi, Maggie. What's up? This afternoon, I'm just not meant to start until tomorrow. I don't care if it's just points of law. If Clayton's going to be in court today, then yeah, I want to be there. All right, bye. We are. Uh... We just pulled these tables together, then that should be okay. Oh, Mom, I can't believe you've been so calm about yeah, well, this. Yeah, we know what David's planning to do. This is our only chance to stop him. Will you two just shut up? I've got Pat in the cellar. Well, what's he doing here? Okay, Robert rang him about the electrics. Will you be able to tell what we've done? Right. I'll deal with him. Go back. Fix dinner. Right, I'll see you later. There's no turning back now. Like Nick says, best leave it to the guy who installed it. I mean, it's a pretty high tech system. Yeah, he's been round. He reckons it'd be uh, two days in the night. Two days? This is always flame indeed. I won't ask. Good. 
did warn you. Yeah, but you said you'd fix it. No, I said it was knackered and I'd do my best. Well, I, I just need it for tomorrow, that's all. Right, I'll have a look, see what I can do, but I'm not making any promises. You all right? Yeah, you all right? You nervous about tomorrow? A bit, yeah. I keep rehearsing everything in my head, so I keep it dead clear in that. Yeah, great. I won't let Kylie down, David, I promise. Yeah, neither of us will. Where are the kids? Thought you were picking them up. Uh, my mum went. She'll be back in a minute. Your mum thought we could have a family meal tonight? Yeah, Nick suggested we cook here. Then we eat over there by candlelight. That's a lovely idea, I thought. Yeah, yeah, she said. Thanks, Mum. Mum? What happened to Gail? Sorry, Gail. Heads all over the place. Now, sweetheart, how are you feeling? Because I know tomorrow's going to be difficult for you. Uh, yeah, well, it started today, actually. Family liaison woman for me before. I thought the trial was tomorrow. No, it is. It's just, I don't know, they were doing the preliminaries today or something. It's the big day tomorrow. Well, certainly seems to be handling it well, doesn't it? Oh, it's lovely to see you tucking in for a change, my darling. Right. Who's from Michael's famous trifle? Oh. Ooh. Not for the kids, though. My hand slipped when I was putting the rum in. Oh, I said <coughs> a very large portion for me, please. <laughs> and for David, too. It's his favourite trifle. Oh. Uh, there's a uh, chocolate cake for the kids. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, David, I've got some new Aussie wines. Do you want to help me pick a couple of bottles? I don't know anything about wine. You never will with that attitude, will you? No. Well, just keep it on your sister, I won't be long. Roger that. No bread, anybody. Oh, what did you bring me down here for? I just have to talk about wine. Wine. Creep you down here, innit? I had to break it to you, man, but I think one of your staff is living down here. Mum? I'm sorry, love. It's for your own good. Do it. Hey! For a few days. Are you completely insane? I'm warning you, if you don't let me out now, I'm calling the police. Now you have a hard job without your phone. You've taken my phone? Are you bonkers? What are you doing? The best we can. I'm sorry, David. I hope you'll forgive me one day. Go upstairs, I'll deal with it. No, 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 Mom! Mom! Mom don't leave me down here, Mom! Mom! Yourself. What do you care? Of course we care. Of course you care. Why do you think we're doing this? I haven't got the faintest idea and you don't seem to want to tell me. I don't need to. You know already. All I know is one minute we're having a family dinner and the next you're keeping me prisoner in your cellar. What were you afraid that we're going to give you a bad review on TripAdvisor? We know you're planning to kill Clayton. Kill Clayton? Where the hell did you get that from? It was suicide video you left for the kids. We're not going to let you throw your life away. Oh, what are they doing down there, treading the grapes? Mm, David got a bit emotional. Because of the trial? Yeah. yeah. It um, brings it all back. Not that it's ever very far away. Um, Nick's giving him a pep talk. Yeah, well... Now, we've all got to rally around and make sure that he can get through it, right? Definitely. Mm. Well, we are trying. Yeah. Do you know, in the circumstances, I think we should all finish up and leave them to it. Yeah, uh, I think we could do with getting the kids to bed, actually. Oh, come on, no, no. Ten minutes won't do any harm. Look, they haven't finished their pudding. Yeah. Hi, this is 
Sarah's phone. I can't take your call right now, but if you'd like to leave me a message, do it after the beep. Ciao. Sarah, it's me. Um, I know with the, the trial and everything, you've got better things to worry about than me. But um, if there's anything you want to talk about, Amir, uh, I guess I guess I want to help you because, um, well, because I really like you. And I can't hack the thought of us just, just calling it quits. So, um, yeah, when, when you're ready, just give me a call. Cheers. Bye. You've got no right to be doing this. This has got nothing to do with you. We're your family. Kylie was my family. She was everything, everything good in my life. And what about your kids? <sighs> They're better off without me. The way I am now, I breathe, I put one foot in front of the other and I hurt. And that's as far as it goes. It'll get better. No, it won't. I died the day Kylie died. He killed us both. Well, that's not true. Yeah, it is. How do you know? You've got absolutely no idea what I'm going through. All that's left is the worst of me, and that's only good for one thing. So if you really cared about me, you'd open the door and you'd let me get on with it. I'm sorry, but your kids need their father. <sighs> Our mum needs her son, and I need my brother. Hey, babe, you all right? Help! Help! Yeah, yeah. It's no it's just, uh, it's just the radio. You okay? What do you mean, twinges? Oh, do you want me to bring a doctor? Right, hold on, you told Tracy, and how did she... Okay, so right, calm down, calm down, breathe. Take your breath, forget about Tracy, forget about Peter, just think about the baby, all right? Yeah. yeah, 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 I'll come straight back. Okay, I'll just make sure David's all right. I love you. Yeah, Leanne, what's happened? Doesn't matter. It sound that way. Look, I'm sorry about before, all right? You do understand what I'm going through. Remember how you felt about the bloke who stabbed your dad? When you found out it got out? I do, yeah. You wanted to get back at him, didn't you? To hurt him? <sighs> I was young. I was hot-headed. I didn't have your responsibilities. And I nearly made the biggest mistake of my life. Got Leanne badly hurt. And how would you have felt if he had hurt her? Killed her, even. The love of your life, would you have forgiven him? No. Probably would have uh, felt the same as you do now. So why are you keeping me in here? Right, because sometimes, sometimes you're too close to something. And you need to step back to see the bigger picture and me and your mum can. Yeah, well, that's not up to you, is it? This is my only chance to get some justice for Kylie because I'm not going to get that from the courts. Well, you don't know that. Don't I? Or have they brought back hanging since I've been down here? Oh, look, they convict him, and then he'll and get... He'll get a nice cell with a telly. He'll be able to play pool with his mates. It'll be like the good old days in the dog and gun. Then when he gets out, he'll be able to start a new life, and he'll be younger than what Kylie was before he killed her. And Max and Lily get their father. And you get to see them grow up. And you get to see them have families. Now that's what Kylie would have wanted. And to be abandoned. I love you and me, Mum. They don't need us. They need you. And you don't get it. Punishing your kids. Not claim. I better go. What? Oh, don't worry, someone will come down and check on you. There's food and water just to try and get some rest.
No, Nick. No, Nick. Nick, don't leave me down here. Yeah, I think they've bought it. And I told them he'd gone to see his dad to take his mind off the trial. Yeah, I better go. Uh, Leanne's in the state. I'm sure it's fine. But, uh, you know, I better go and check on it. We can't leave David on his own. I mean, what if there's a fire or. I'll go over there. No, Mum, I'll go. I think Michael might miss the lump in the bed. And Bethany might miss the lump in yours. Well, you can think of something to tell her because you're a better liar than me. Listen, you two weren't even on board yesterday. That cellar is no place for doubts. Sarah! Where are you off to? Um, I just left something earlier in the bistro. Right, I'll come here. No, I just, I, I just want to be on my own. You all right? Yeah, I'm just, I'm really tired. I just want to go home and get in bed. Get my message? No. Well, I was just calling to say that I'm here. Oh, Gary, I've just got so much on my mind right now. I just can't do this. Sorry. Sleep. You're joking. I hate that we're doing this. I just we couldn't think of any alternative. We or the other two. It's the only way. No, you think I've got a right to make Clayton pay for what he's done to Kylie? It's not for me to decide. The law's the law. And what if Kylie had that attitude? What if she never picked up that wrench that night? You'd have been raped. I know. You could have died. But she saved you and she suffered for it. God did she suffer. So don't you think the least you owe is a scrap of justice? It's not that straightforward. It is. It really is, Sarah. Just listen to your heart because you know it's right. Walk to the door, turn the key. Let me out and let me repay your debt to Kylie. Look, I know Mum and Nick mean well, Sarah, but they don't know Kylie like we did. Two young kids left without a mum. I can't let them get away with it. You're right, David. It's been a nightmare, but... Killing somebody else isn't going to end it. Yeah, yeah, it will. It'll finish things once and for all. No, it won't. Just more of the same for everyone for years. Lily, Max, they feel that for the rest of their lives. No, David, I'm not going to let you do it. I'm sorry. Let's try and get some sleep, eh? off to school. How's David? Well, he's better than I am. At least he's got food. Will you just answer me? <sighs> yeah, he's all right. He did try and persuade me to let him out, though. 
He didn't. No, of course not. Look, love, I know it's hard, but it's the same for all of us. I mean, I, I haven't slept for worrying about it. I oh, know, you're right. It's better than him being dead. I'll come as soon as I can. As soon as I've found someone to mind the kids. Okay. Mum, please, can you just hurry up, though, because I'm getting the creeps being down here. What do you care? Of course we care. That's why we're doing this. I <sighs> Oh, I have uh, just sorted the kids. I've dropped them off of Busy's. Uh, she's got the afternoon off, thank goodness. Why aren't you there? Uh, Tracy, man. Ken's had a stroke. That's awful, right? That's not it. It's in the hospital, and you know, I couldn't leave Leanne on the way. No! Gail, can you tell Dave I'm still working on his car, but I'll get it done as quick as I can? Oh, he's, uh, he's gone to stay at Martin's. What? He was adamant that he wanted it fixed for this morning. He was all worked up about it. Yeah, well, he decided to go last night, so he got the train instead. Oh, nice one. Well, he could have told me. Well, maybe he's got other things on his mind, huh? Yeah, we're just a bit, uh, all... Well, it's the trial, you know? Yeah, yes. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Lily's, I just said you'd gone shopping. Okay. Is it okay if I go now? Of course not. So, someone want to tell me what's going on? Dripping last night, and um, so I thought I'd come back to you in the day, Jack. What, and that's with all three of you. Oh, we were just going out, so we just popped in on our way past. Yeah, it was fine. It was nothing. Yeah, we still imagined it. Still, I just to check myself. You know, set my mind at rest. There's no need, really. Is locked? Right, you lot. I want to know exactly what you're up to. That's nothing to do with you, is it? Well, I own half the premises. I think it is. It's family business. Oh? And what family would that be, Gail? The Sopranos? Only it looks to me like you've got someone locked up in there and they're not very happy about it. You've got a very vivid imagination. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> So I can kill the bastard! Tracy did crazy stuff, but this... This makes her look like a girl guide. I know that it sounds mad, but it's better than him murdering someone. Well, could you not have just sat him down and reasoned with him? Like normal people? 
Do you have to lock him in a cellar? Okay, okay. He's beside himself with grief and anger. He's not going to listen to a word we say, is he? Right, so how, how long are you going to keep him down there for? The rest of his life? Oh, I know. Nick's bistro, brackets, David's dungeon. It could be a tourist attraction. Really pull the punters in that wood. It's just until the trial's over, until they lock Clayton up. You're mad. All of you. OK. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye. But I'm begging you, please. Let us do this for his sake. Yeah, and the kid's sake. I mean, they've already lost their mum. <sighs> right. I'll give you till tomorrow morning. Then I want him out, or I'm calling the police. Understood? So whose idea was it? Mine. Well, congratulations, girl. Never even saw it coming. A lamb to the slaughter. You don't mean that. You've taken the only thing I had and you crushed it. Yeah, well, I'm glad. Because that thing would have destroyed everybody who loves you. Your kids, most of all. They don't understood when they were older. Hell, they might have even thanked me. For putting yourself behind bars. For only being able to visit you twice a month. <laughs> Come on, Gail, you saw the film. You can't go to prison if you're dead. I know what you said. You wouldn't have gone through with it. You'd have changed your mind. I wouldn't have had time to change my mind. What do you mean? Are you sitting comfortably? I'll tell you the whole story. Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Kylie. She was married to David. And they had two beautiful children. Then one day, they decided to go to the land of sea and sunshine and pretty coloured fishes and live happily ever after. And Carly was very happy. But then, a nasty young man called Clayton came along and just for the hell of it, just because he could, he stuck a knife between her ribs and he left her there to slowly bleed to death. So David and the children, they were left all alone. And they were all really sad. But David was angry. And the anger inside him grew and grew to the point where he thought prison was not good enough for the nasty young man. So do you know what David did? David. Went out and he got a car and he bought lots of petrol. And on the day when the nasty young man was to appear in court, David drove to court and he waited. And while he waited, David doused himself and the car in petrol. And then when he saw the prison van approaching with the nasty young man inside, he put his foot down, hard, flicked open his lighter, drove into the side of the van, and boom, the nasty young man was gone forever. Of course, so was David, but he didn't mind. In some ways, a sort of a relief. 
You see, this isn't a fairy tale game. There are no happy endings. You thought it all through, hadn't you? Every last detail. Except what would happen after. How could you do that to your kids? Leaving them when they'd only just lost their mum. And what about us? And all the other poor souls whose lives you would have destroyed. The, the driver, the guards, the people passing by. I mean, what about their families, eh? When they get the news that they'd lost a father or, or a sister or a child. How could you be so selfish? So wrapped up in your own grief you couldn't see the grief you were causing. I know. I know how hard it is for you. I've been there. Remember? And who knows if I'd been on my own then. But I wasn't. Thank God. I had you. My kids. And that's what I clung on to. And that's what you've got to cling on to now. Do you hear me? You have to keep going for their sakes. No matter how painful. Do you hear me? David! Answer me! Mum, what's happened? He's not answering me! I got a silent treatment last night. No, no, you don't understand. David! Mum, calm down, what's the matter? He said, he said it would be a relief to kill himself. And there's been nothing since. David! David! <laughs>